In this video, we'll look at some solving basics for trig equations. Specifically, we're going to look at how to solve sine theta equal to zero. So this is very similar to finding exact values. We're just working in the other direction. So we should think when we're solving which angle or angles have a sine of zero. And if you're thinking about that on the unit circle, that means your angles where you have no vertical movement. Because remember, sine is your y coordinate. So let's take a look at this with our method. Okay, so in step one, we're going to analyze, but you'll notice when we're solving trig equations equal to either zero or one, um, we actually get to kind of uh, streamline step one. We only really need to find which quadrants we're in, um, or we need to locate the angle even more specifically um, in order to do step two. We'll determine our angle answers. So let's go ahead and see exactly what that looks like. So for other equations that we've looked at, we've had it equal to some ratio such as 1 half, square root 2 over 2, or square root 3 over 3. Um, those are some of our special angle ratios um, that we're familiar with. But when we're equal to 0 or 1 or negative 1, you'll notice that we're dealing with our quadrantal angles. And so in the others, we would start step one, we would go into our quadrants, we would think of that acronym ASTC, all students take classes, and you'd be figuring out which trig, which trig functions are positive and negative in each quadrant. But for this simplified version, we don't even have to do that. We just need to think again, like we said in the intro, which angle or angles have a y coordinate of zero or have no vertical movement. Okay, so let's sketch those in. We know that this angle right here, zero degrees or radians, has no vertical motion, okay? And same is true if we went halfway around pi or 180 degrees. So we'll stick in radians, zero or pi. And those are the only two angles on the unit circle that don't have that vertical motion or that we have a y coordinate of zero. And again, notice these are quadrantals. And all that means is the angle's terminal side is on one of the axes. So here we're on the x-axis for both. And like we said before, we're not going to have to worry about a reference triangle since we're dealing with quadrantals as our solutions. And step two, we're really just going to state the solutions that we got from our analysis in step one. So if we're on the unit circle, and that's on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, we know that you could rotate none, and that would be an answer of zero, zero radians or zero degrees. And if you rotated halfway around, pi would be your other solution. So substitute these back in just to double check. We can find that the sine of zero and the sine of pi are both zero. So those are your solutions if you are solving just on that interval or just on the unit circle. But let's look, say you were asked for all solutions. Remember, for other equations that we've looked at, we've done this, um, and we've written a solutions equation for each of the angles um, from the previous step. For this, we're going to be able to condense it down into a single equation that expresses all solutions, so both 0 and pi and all the angles that are coterminal to both of those. Um, and it's because these two angles are exactly pi apart. So let's start writing the equation. We'll use our first angle, 0. So we'll say 0, and then a solution is going to happen every pi or every half rotation. So looking back to our diagram, here's a half rotation, and then you'd have another half rotation. So 2 pi would also be a solution. That's coterminal to 0. If you kept going around, you'd see that 3 pi would be a solution. That's coterminal to pi. So instead of our usual plus 2 pi k, we can say 0 plus pi k, which basically comes down to plus every half rotation. Um, so remember k is an integer when we use this, um, this equation for expressing a solution. k just represents any integer. So as you substitute in different integers, you'll get a different solution. But this equation by itself represents all solutions for sine theta equal to 0. All right, so that's all there is to it. Be sure to check out the video description. I'll post links to more examples 
uh, unit circle basics, even some exact values if you're interested in that. So check those out and thanks for watching.